All right, so we were working with this particular problem, which had this goal that if P is a prime number, then show that P square divides 2P choose P minus 2. And in the previous video, we showed how to translate this problem, this number theory problem, into a geometric pattern. And what was the pattern? For p equal to 3, it's easier to understand it. So 2p choose p means 6 choose 3 for p equals to 3. And what we did is we created a tablet which had 2 cross 3, 2 cross 3 boxes. And out of these six boxes, out of these six boxes, out of these six boxes, we put dots on three of them. We put dots on three of them. And if we like, we can also put crosses on the remaining three of them. And that's precisely one way of choosing three things out of six things. One way of choosing three things out of six things. So for each of the other ways, there will be a new tablet. So for example, if we can create another tablet, which is, again, this is alpha, this is beta, this is 0, 1, 2, and we can put maybe 3, 2 dots here, 3, dot, 1 dot here, and the crosses down here. So like this, we will have all the 6 choose 3 number of tablets. 6 choose 3, the value of 6 choose 3 is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is a formula for computing 6 choose 3. This is 20. So there will be 20 such tablets. This is tablet 1. This is tablet 2. And there will be 20 such tablets, one each for these 20 selections. Okay, great. So that was a step one. We created these tablets. And in the step two, we created the forces. So what were the forces? So we took the set 0, 1, 2, and we crossed it with another 0, 1, 2. So we got this 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 0 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 and we said that these forces these these duplets act on the tablets so let me write that the forces act on the tablets and how do they act okay so i'll give you an example again or I'll remind you the example that we worked with. So there were these three dots and there were these three crosses. This is alpha, this is beta, this is 0, 1, 2. And we will check how the force 2, 1 will act on this particular tablet. So it will act on this particular tablet and transform it into another tablet. So how did we do that? Okay, so this is what will happen. The 2 will act on the first column and the 1 will act on the second column. And it will permute it cyclically. So how, do, how, how does that happen? Okay, so this particular dot will go one step and then we'll go two steps. So it will hop two steps because of this number two. This dot will hop two steps and it will do it cyclically. So the position of this dot one is now here. And the position of this dot two, this dot two is step one, step two. So the dot two is now here. Okay, what happens to the what happens to this particular dot? 
okay this is let's call it dot three one acts on it so it will hop up one step so it will become this one and the crosses you can check will occupy the remaining three spots so the action of two comma one the action of two comma one transforms this particular tablet into this one okay so we did up to this part then we said okay let's imagine that there is a bag which contains all of these 20 tablets or all of these 2p choose p tablets which is in this particular special case this particular case it's 6 choose 3 imagine that we have this bag of tablets and imagine that there are these p square forces these p square forces in this case nines forces which is three square what are the nine forces well these are the nine forces these are the nine forces and we exactly know how these forces act on the tablet so each of these forces will convert one tablet into another one it depends on how it acts it will convert a tablet into another tablet okay so we understand how this forces act on this particular set the next thing that we want to tell you in this particular video is about the fixed points of this entire process so fixed points are very important in mathematics in fact you should look up Brouwer fixed point theorem it's a very beautiful theorem that uh, tells you something extremely nice about functions and them acting on certain kind of spaces what are fixed points fixed points in this particular case so we will learn it in the context of number theory and combinatorics okay so in number theory in this particular problem fixed point will be a tablet which is never transformed by any of the forces so a tablet that is never transformed never transformed by any of the forces okay so of course all the three dots are alike and all, all the three crosses are alike you have to keep that in mind i shouldn't write this one two and three they are alike but i just wanted to show you how it is uh, how it how the points are floating in the in the tablets now let's come back to this a tablet that is never transformed into anything else is known as the fixed tablet or the fixed point of this particular problem okay okay so what kind of tablet is that okay i'll show it to you but you should pause the video and tell me that in the comment so this is a tablet and i'll put three dots in the first column in the alpha column three dots in the alpha column and three crosses in the beta column three dots in the alpha column and the three and three crosses in the beta column now if i apply a force let's say i apply the force 2 comma 2 on this particular tablet what happens then well let's just put it like this so this for this dot goes here so the last dot go, goes to the first position the first dot goes to the second position and the second dot goes to the last position so you again get three dots in the first column and similarly you get three crosses in the second column so after you apply two comma two i'm sorry this is green i was doing it in green after you apply two comma two on this particular tablet this this one after you apply the force 2 comma 2 on this particular tablet it remains the same it is not transformed into anything else there is so this is one tablet which is a fixed point 
of this action one tablet which is the fixed point of this action a tablet does, does not get transformed into anything else there is another tablet exactly one more tablet which is not transformed into anything else by any of the forces the important part is for all forces for all forces it must not get transformed into anything else for all forces okay so there is one more tablet which does that can you tell me which one it is in the comment in the uh, comment below and apart from these two tablets all of them get transformed into something or other by the forces except for one force so there is one more tablet more tablet which is never transformed can you describe that in the comment and there is there is one force which never transforms anything transforms anything any tablet can you tell me which one it is so there are these nine forces one of these nine forces one of these nine forces when you apply it on any of the tablets none of them get transformed into anything else so which one is that and there is one more tablet which never gets transformed by any of the forces which one is that you put that in the comment in the description what we will do is from 2p choose p from 2p choose p tablets we will throw away these two fixed points so these all tablets and these are the fixed points the two fixed points and we will show that this the remaining number of tablets is divisible by the number of forces number of forces it's extremely exciting how we are applying all these different ideas of fixed points geometric patterns and number theoretic ideas all together coming uh, coming into one problem and um, it's extremely beautiful so put it in the comment in the next video the last part of this we will completely solve it and we will show okay p square indeed divides 2p choose p minus 2 and we will do it using the notion of orbit of a tablet so we will do it finish it up uh, till then all the best take care and keep on doing great mathematics bye